Hello, did you ever get lost monitor multiple arc t plots? Or every time you do an experiment, do you only rely on RVs? And later, you analyze your results using MATLAB, Excel, or a Python script? Well, you need to know Plot Jungler. Plot Jungler is a time series visualization tool. It was made initially for ROS applications, but thanks to its plugin based architecture, it's possible to monitor data streaming from MQTT, WebSockets, and ROS. Also, it's possible to import data from file, for example, CSV or ROS bags. My name is Lucas Schulz, and in this video, I will present the basic usage of PlotJungler. Before we can use PlotJungler, we need to install it. PlotJungler can be installed as any other ROS package. In Ubuntu, we just need to type sudo apt-get install ros-the ROS distro that you are using, in my case is Noetic, but it can be also a ROS2 distro, plotjungler-ros. Just confirm the inf installation and wait. Now we can use plotjungler. I'll just clean my terminal to use it later. Okay. To have some data stream to sim plotjungler, in this video I use the turtle sim simulator. So, I already have a simulation running here. Uh, here you can see the commands that I did. So here it was just a host car. Here the command to run the simulation. Uh, ROS topic to publish the uh, velocity command to make the turtle move in circles. And here just a, a, a ROS bag recording. So let's use plot juggler. Just need to type ROS real plot juggler. Plot juggler. Okay, so here to open plot juggler. Here we have this intuitive interface from plot juggler. I suggest you to explore, so it's a lot of options here. But basically, we can import data from a file, for example, a ROS bag or CSV. But in our case, we're gonna use the streaming option. So here in stream, just select the ROS topic subscriber options if it's not already selected and click on start. So here it's gonna open in a box for you select the ROS message that you want to visualize. I will select all the ones from 31, just click on them, click on OK. So here on the left in the time series list, we can click here and explore the ones. And here on pose inside third one, we can already see the values being updated. To make a graph, uh, you just need to click and drag the variables into the plot that you want. I will start with the X variable. So just click here and drag to the plot. Uh, in the row, vertical axis, we can see the, the values of the the variable and here in the horizontal axis the time of the these variables uh, we can right click on the graph and see some options so for example edit the curve apply filter split the the graph horizontally or vertical some zoom options uh, for now let's edit the curve I will change this color, we can jit here the color, so I did to a pink one. We can change the line style, and I will change the vertical limit. So I put 12 as max, and MIMO as 0. Just click on save changes. Uh, also, you can change the amount of time that's shown here in the horizontal axis. So by just clicking here in the buffer. So you can in increase or decrease the time that you want to show. I let here as 15. Okay. Uh, to make another graph, you can uh, right click on the graph and click split uh, vertically here. So we have another blank graph here. I will drag now the Y variable. So we have two graphs now. We can have multiple time series in the same graph. We can do that by just uh, dragging, for example, another variable here. I will drag the X here, 
or for example we can where we split it again this is this one here and uh, we can select multiple variables that we want so x and y just control and click on multiple ones and drag all of them here so we can see both variables in the same plot also instead of having a plot that is like a, a value and a time here in the horizontal axis you can have like a xy plot between two variables so i split this graph again here and to do that you just need to select the pair of variables that you want to do the plot i will select x and y and drag with the right button of the mouse so and it will open this box here i just let x this in the x and y in the uh, y uh, axis but well as i said you can put any pair of variables just press ok and then we can see here uh, the robot the robot of the curve similar to the one from the robot here so if you, we just edit here the curve and put like uh, 12 and 0 we can see here the same as the turtle is doing in the simulation okay uh, when you have like multiple time series like in these two cases you can hide one of them by just clicking here on the legend of each one of them uh, you can change the legend position by just clicking here it will go to the left or click again to remove the legend continue to click and it goes back again also you can turn on and turn off the grid we, are, we have all these plots in, the, in a single tab here but we can create, create another one just click on the plus icon here uh, so here we have a blank graph again now I will add again the X variable here, so we can see that again. I will right click on that and I go to apply filter to that. Uh, we can he see some uh, filter options here already, like the absolute value, the derivative, the integral, moving average, and so on. For example, if you have a, no a really nice data, you could already apply a moving average already in the plot that's going to be really useful but here I use the integral one so it would be like we see the how much the turtle traveled in the x-axis both the filter and also the custom series that's here in the bottom left uh, allow us to visualize manipulated version of our, our data while the application is running which is really useful for example, if you have a topic that publishes the robot angular position in Paternal and you uh, and you want to see it in terms of Euler angles because it's, it's pretty much easier to understand what's happening, you probably would need to record the ROS bag, open it in MATLAB or Python script, convert the data, and then see what's happening. But in Plot Jungler, you can use a custom time series to, uh, to visualize already your data in, in terms of Euler angles during, during the application's running. You don't need to record and do everything offline. So to add a custom time series, uh, you just need to click on here on the plus icon on the bottom left. A custom time series is nothing else as a function that you can create based on one or multiple variables that you have here in your ROS topic. So you already have some options here. So for example, the first derivative, the average between two curves, the integral, the quaternion to pit, to rho, to yaw, the conversion from uh, radians to degrees. So let's use the average between two curves so the average between x and y so the first thing is you need we can load this function to the function that we're gonna use so in this case just double click here 
it will load here the function and we need to add the two variables to be used here so as the main input time series i will drag here x so from this variable it will get the time and the value of this so to the value here in the function means the x value and as additional search time series i will add y so that's why there is this v1 here it's related to this uh, v1 pos v1 variable here so let's just give a name to this custom time series average x y and click time series okay we can also create our own function so for example suppose we want to monitor the distance between the turtle and the origin of the map we need to create a function that based on the x y coordinate of the robot computed the distance from the origin to create a function first need to add a variable as the main input time series so i will drag here x we will get the time and the value from them and as additional source time series, I will add y. Uh, I will, we will also need to define a name for it. So I will write here distance, underline, origin. Okay. But now, instead of loading a function definition here, we will write it. So yeah, the glo as global variables, we can can just let as it is we, we don't need any global variable and in the function definition here we will we will just need to write the code so to compute the distance from the origin we just need to write return the square root of the sum of the square so it's value power the power two of value plus the power 2 of v1 and the square root of everything okay so we have the input the name and the definition we just click here in create time series so and here we have the custom time series here again below okay so now let's create a plot with these two custom series so first split vertically here the graph let's uh, drag the average and the distance from the origin here now we can see both here also going back here in the distance origin we can edit it and we can save here this function in our function library so we can use it later so to save it, just click here, save the current function in the library. You just need to select the name. I will select here distance origin. So take care to do not overwrite uh, other function and just click save. So if you double click here, it's going to be average or double click here, you can change. So you can reuse this function as you want. I just close here because I don't want to modify anything and so you we use the custom time series. Uh, so and now let's suppose you want to show your results for someone. So of course you can import your as bag in MATLAB or Python script and do a plot. But the plot jungler uh, already allows you to uh, save each of these plots into PNG image. So just right click on the plot click on save plot to file and where you save here in the desktop so uh, average average xy and this too. save here okay so let's open here again and here we have this png here that you can use for other things of course we can save this layout and reuse as we want. So to save this layout, we just need to go this to the second option here. Just click here. I will save my desktop. So just give a name. I will save as 
turtle sim plot juggler just confirm and then we save it just check here so we have this here xml file it's the layout of turtle of plot jungler for turtle sim and now what you're gonna do we're gonna close everything to test the the layout loading so i will go again in the terminal i will first close here plot jungler I will stop everything, my ROS bag, my simulation, it's only the ROS core, I will let, let it is. And here I will reopen the plot chunk. Okay. Here I have again the blank, uh, everything's clean. Uh, before loading the layout, I will here, go here in the data and I will load the ROS bag that. I was doing that I was recording so I will it was saved here in my desktop so I just right click here uh, here it will show the the ROS masters that you want to use I will I just I recorded this true so I will also load this true and we can already see here so if you have a ROS bag to play it, you can play, uh, manage all the playing and the playback of the ROS bag just here. So just press a play and it's already showing the values here. You can go to the end by just going here. You can increase the speed, the step size. You can select to go in loop, for example. Uh, and let's load the layout that we are using. So just click in the first option and I will just double click here. So if it's asking if it wants to start the streaming plugin, but you don't, we don't need this in the streaming now because we are using the Rosebeck. So click no. And it's showing uh, our for data the entire time to do a zoom just uh, drag here on the graph and you we can zoom it so all the graphs that we had before we have again now so including the custom series we can, we can go further go back and uh, and evaluate all the uh, ROS back that we have if you want to know more about this amazing open source project Check the Plot Younger website in the video description. And please don't hesitate to comment if you have any doubt or suggest. And if this guide was helpful for you, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you for watching. See you.